Basically what we're saying is that human life in the Arctic as we know it will change. We will witness multifaceted and cascading effects. And it can be described as a new Arctic reality. Welcome to the new Arctic reality. A reality where the sea ice will continue to diminish and the Arctic Ocean is likely to be nearly ice-free in summer within the next 30 to 40 years. Where snow and precipitation patterns will change, where the ice caps and glaciers will continue to lose mass and where permafrost will continue to thaw. The new Arctic reality is a challenging reality. We will have to adapt to serious changes for human existence. We will have to deal with new opportunities. And we will have to answer some tough questions. For the nine million people living in the Arctic, adaptation is a daily experience. The livelihoods of the Arctic people are closely linked to natural resources. The physical changes affect the supply of fish, local food, timber and water. In many regions, transport on land and ice is much more difficult and dangerous. Reindeer herding is already challenged by new precipitation patterns. And the very existence of some communities in the Arctic is threatened by coastal erosion caused by diminishing coastal sea ice and the thawing of permafrost. There is, however, another side to adapting to climate change. A melting Arctic also provides new opportunities. The accessibility to the Arctic region will increase as the sea ice diminishes. The Arctic holds large stores of minerals and potentially large reserves of undiscovered sources of raw materials. The diminishing sea ice also promises new and shorter sea routes, as well as opportunities for the growing tourist industry. Will the nine million inhabitants of the Arctic be able to adapt to the changes? To live in the Arctic, you have to be tough, resilient and highly adaptable. But will the pace of change that appears to be accelerating be too much? Will we be able to handle the obvious challenges of safety and sustainability in a new Arctic reality? Who will be the winners and losers? Who will benefit from the new mines, new oil and gas fields, the new sea routes? In short, are we ready to answer the tough questions as the Arctic experiences a new reality.